Back again with uh, more comment from Pat Buchanan of MSNBC, Rachel Maddow of Air America and MSNBC. We'll pick up on Pat's point, Rachel, that uh, when asked about uh, Iran and Israel, uh, uh, Barack Obama said that the number one issue here was keeping nukes out of the hands uh, of the Iranians, Iranians and Ahmadinejad. And, and Senator Clinton did indeed say that uh, any attacks on Israel by Iran would have to be viewed as requiring massive American response. Uh, where is that going to go? Did that come out of left field? Well, in beyond that even, talking about expanding kind of this umbrella of American protection so that it's not just Israel. I mean, the, the discussion between the two of them on that was a, a, a profound change in the idea of American responsibilities beyond our NATO alliance, as Pat was mentioning, uh, and, our, and our kind of traditional and, and, and received acceptance of our special relationship with Israel. I mean, they're, they're talking about uh, a, a, a promise to engage in a, part, in a very volatile part of the world, part of the world made all the more volatile by the fact that we're now occupying Iraq, um, th that's, that's a big promise, and that's a big advance in American foreign policy thinking that I don't think we've heard either of them articulate in that detail or with that ambition before. So if we were talking about substance rather than tabloid stuff, if the headlines were about real policy issues, I think, I think that, that is the shocker tonight. That is yeah, the headline. Uh, Pat, did, in fact, did, did, he go, did, did Senator Clinton, in fact, uh, go beyond where Senator McCain is on that particular issue? Well, I mean, I, for me, and again, I've got to look at the transcript. For me, I mean, they have talked about, rightly so, but uh, President Bush not thinking this through when he went into Iraq, and Congress not thinking it through when he gave him a blank check. And the impression I got is that any kind of attack or conflict between Iran and Israel, or even these Persian Gulf states, would result in an instant massive response by the United States on Iran. President of the United States doesn't have that kind of authority. Before you can go to war under the Constitution, we get a declaration of war or authorization of war. I mean, you've got the two of them talking as though the President of the United States is an imperial president who, if he doesn't like someone and they attack someone, he responds. Well, Pat, I don't, you I don't can't know that do that in America. I, I think, I, well, Pat, you and I share the same suspicions of the imperial presidency. I don't know that Obama and Clinton sound more imperial than Bush or McCain on this stuff. I don't think they excluded but, the possibility but, of but seeking an authorization. automatic response? No. They, well, automatic it, response? Maybe the automatic response is to seek an authorization of war powers from the Congress. We don't, I mean, in terms of the way they uh, want to do it, that's something that they need to explain more. But the fact that they want to do it, the fact that we would respond to Saudi Arabia, for example, in the same way that it's sort of understood in American foreign policy that we would under, that we would react to a, an attack on Israel, I mean, that is, that's, an, that's a big expansion of America's It, uh, it is a real step it's a real march forward, and I think there's a lot of people going to be writing about that and talking about that, at least in the back pages of the newspaper. Probably not the front pages. We'll be dealing with Mr. Ayers. Yeah, the front pages, it's all the, you know, John McCain had a black baby and, and, and Barack Obama's a me mm. member of the Weather Underground stuff. I, mm. I, the, the tabloid stuff, the fact that it was the full 51st minutes, 50, 50 minutes of this, this debate, yeah. uh, still is just unbelievable to me, particularly I, I, given the constitution. I have the transcript. I have the transcript if you want to react to it in particular. Please. Well, in fact, George, I think that we should be looking to create an umbrella of deterrence that goes much further than just Israel. Of course, I would make it clear to the Iranians that an attack on Israel would incur massive retaliation from the United States, Senator Clinton said. But I would do the same with other countries in the region. We are at a very dangerous point with Iran. The Bush policy has failed, etc. But she goes on to talk about the support of terrorism in Lebanon and, and elsewhere. And I think this is an opportunity with skillful diplomacy for the United States to go to the region and enlist the region in a security agreement vis-a-vis -vis Iran. It is rather uh, a rather big umbrella that she's just in. Well, sure, you're talking about a nation to alliance of unstable Gulf states, some of whom which have been condemned because their dictatorships or their monarchies or the human rights are violated there, and we're going to put a NATO umbrella like we put over France and Great Britain and West Germany over them in case of a war with Iran? I don't think so. And other, I just think yeah. uh, they've, got, they've got to explain themselves on this. The well, other uh, thing that, that's weird about this, and I think worrying about this, is because it's specifically about Iran. She's saying that we would need a Middle East umbrella of deterrence specifically around Iranian aggression. Iran is a country that hasn't invaded another country since, mm -hmm. what, the 1700s? There may be this sort of, uh, I think, neocon myth about Persian aggression and them wanting to actually invade all of their neighbors. But history shows, honestly, that they don't. And so promoting this idea that Iran is going to be some sort of territorial aggressor 
aggressor invading other countries in order to expand its boundaries, I think really plays into this myth of, of Iran in modern history that, um, that well, also I think Hillary Clinton is vulnerable let, on because she voted for the Kyle well, Lieberman let me, amendment. Let me clarify what Barack Obama said about this. We read, uh, we read uh, Hillary Clinton's quote. Let me read this to you in the, in the last 30 seconds here. I said before, I think it is very important that Iran understands that an attack on Israel is an attack on our strongest ally in the region, one that we, one whose security we consider paramount, and that would be an aggression that we would, that I would consider an attack that is unacceptable, and the United States would take appropriate action. So the response, Rachel, was not quite at the Clintonian well, level tonight. No, well, that's, the, the that's, that's fine, Obama frankly. Was more subdued. Yeah, so you, you, that's okay. a good response by Barack Obama. In my judgment, it's responsible, and he didn't go too far, but... Uh, this blanket security guarantee is uh, is something new. Yeah, indeed it is. All right, uh, Rachel and Pat, as always, thank you greatly for your perspectives and your insights. And we actually got some policy in there. What do you know? Right. Rachel Maddow of uh, MSNBC and Air Take America. Take it easy, Keith. Pat Buchanan of MSNBC. Thank, thank you both. You. One final moment of self-promotion. The vice president of the United States has partial revenge tonight against me. He addressed the annual dinner of the Radio and Television News Directors Association in Washington this evening, and spotting our frequent guest Mo Rocca on the dais, the vice president noted that Mo used to host a TV show called Things I Hate About You. Mr. Cheney then added, I thought that was called Countdown with Keith Olbermann. Well, sir, touche. We will have full team coverage and video of the snark. I may have been hoist on my own petard. Tomorrow night on Countdown at 8 and 10 Eastern, 5, 7, and 11 Pacific Time. All right, forgive me this one stroll down the lane with my unleashed ego. That is Countdown for this, the 1,812th day since the declaration of mission accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.